It's been a while since I've posted anything, but today I'll be doing a video on rockets. And back over the summer, I had this design that was finally not blowing up every time. And it was actually consistently going up both stages together. However, I was having this issue where the rocket would kind of veer off to the side or something like that. And the second stage would launch like horizontally or straight down. Here's a couple clips for you guys to refresh your memory. Oh, this is good. Watch for the second stage. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, it's going sideways. Oh, it's going sideways. Second stage, bro. Oh, second stage. Oh, 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 somebody fucked up. Yeah, fucked up. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Something happened. Dude. Dude. <laughs> And I figured one of the big issues could be the fact that I'm using a half inch diameter second stage inside of a one inch diameter booster. And this leaves room for a lot of chatter and movement, which can cause the rocket to be unbalanced as it goes up. So for this video, I'm trying to scale up the size and use a 1.25 inch diameter booster and a one inch diameter second stage. That way it perfectly slides inside of the first stage because there's no other pipes smaller that have a tolerance like that that fits perfectly inside, which you'll see as I make them. Everything you see built here is built the same way as I have in all my other previous rocket videos. The only difference is everything is scaled up like about proportionally in size. So I got some of these 3 8 inch screws number 6. Hopefully they won't be protruding like the half inch are, so... There'll be a flush fit for the second stage. And something to note here is that this first test is using the same exact fuel as I used on my last test of the smaller sized rockets. All right, cut it. Shoes up. Spark her up. Everyone track it. Dude, that was a fat that was, move. Look at all the birds flying, dude. dude that's After seeing the rocket explode like that, I knew the next thing to do was just to add some more baking soda to slow down the fuel's burn rate. All right, here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the old rocket and the new design right here. You can see it's much larger in size, but with all the same proportions. And I'll show you guys the second stage, as you can see right here. Will fit in to this slot right there. And that fits perfectly right to there. All right, 8% larger rocket. All right, guys, stay back. Try to track it. Everyone try to track it.
the other front right there. What happened? Dude, I think the other part just like. Bro, it's like. You see it? Dude, I don't know. Where did the. End it? Yeah, end it. Once I say go, like. Run to the car. Okay. All right, here's the booster stage recovery. All right, so this one was a little weird. After looking closer at that tripod view, you can kind of see the rocket. It obviously didn't fully rupture, but there was still a failure in the top portion. So once again, I decided to up the baking soda to slow the fuel down a bit. And yes, we just teleported in time about four months. When you're ready. Let's see what it does. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, those are so far. Yeah. That got stuck coming out. Oh my god. I have no idea where that went. That's like into like infinity and beyond. Who knows where that went? I've looked over the footage several times and it's honestly really hard to tell what is going on, but my best guess is that it seems like the rocket went up and the second stage was in there fine and didn't jostle out. It stayed in place, but then I think it just ignited too early and then just launched out as the main booster was still accelerating. So to me, it looks like there was an early ignition and the next step from here would be to Maybe add a bit of a delay, like a top little portion of fuel that has like even more baking soda. But I'm not really sure where to go from here because I've never had this issue before. So another possibility could be the fact that maybe there was like some cracking in the dry compression and all the fuel kind of burnt through faster and just lit the quick fuse pretty soon. So it might be time to move on to grains and melting my fuel. I really don't know what direction to take from here at this point.